Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why come to Rishi Bilya? Sir, there are a few reasons. First, their parents had come there and they hashed there. So, they have uh, some navigation system to return to the place where they had hashed. Secondly, sir, these beaches are pristine and uh, are free of human interference. And thirdly, turtles, uh, they, the olive ready turtles, they usually reside in uh, tropical warm waters and so uh, uh, they find uh, beaches that are uh, suitable for their mass nesting, sir, along these coasts. No, but number one thing is availability of food. When the it doesn't have to just let go go and back to see. So nature takes their care and the hatchlings come out from the by the nature. Okay. So who is there to feed the hatchlings? The nature. Nature has given enough nutrient. That's why they live. Second thing, they are in the pristine beach. And प्रकृष्ण Thank you, sir. Wildlife photography? Sorry, sir. You have a wildlife photography? Yes, sir. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Sir, uh, I have visited, uh, recently I visited uh, Jim Corbett National Park in 2000, July 2021, and I took a photograph of tiger there. You start Jim Corbett? Yes, sir. Sir, I have also took few pictures in uh, Chilika, uh, Chilika Nalaban, Nalabana Wildlife Sanctuary of uh, flamingos there. And I have also taken pictures of uh, saltwater crocodile in Bitarkanika National Park, sir. You have zoomed Yes, sir, I have zoom lens. How wildlife photography? wildlife? Sir, uh, survival in the wild, sir. Living in the wild among the nature. Sir, it's also out of common sense, sir. Common sense is Wildlife is uncultivated flora and fauna. Uncultivated flora and fauna. Wild is not cultivated. Jack cultivated no one has a wildlife. Wildlife is any uncultivated flora and fauna. Flora, you know, and fauna, you know. Flora and fauna, you know. Not to. That's why flora and fauna, you know. Thank you, sir. Uncultivated flora and fauna is not wide. Rain includes animal and plants. What is forest? Sir, forest, uh, according to the uh, Oxford uh, Dictionary definition, it is a land which where tree do, trees are predominating and it is the definition which was adopted by the Honorable Supreme Court in T. N. Godavaran case in 1999, sir. Where is that? What did they say? Sir, uh, they said that the Oxford uh, Dictionary definition of the forest would apply in Supreme Court judgments while, declare, while uh, hearing cases regarding forests, sir. In T. N. Godavaran case. Godavaran case, Supreme Court. Wherever you find wood vegetation, all a forest is a forest. Yes, sir. So it looks like the first year forest, maybe forever leg or maybe normal leg. But different types of forest? Sir, uh, types of forest, sir, is based on the Champion and Seth classification of 1968, sir. And based on that, there are 16 types of forest which are found in uh, India. 
and out of that four types of forests are found in odisha sir what is the legal definition of forest sir legal definition of the forest uh, sir it is covered under uh, for indian forest act 1927 but i am not sure of the actual definition actual legal definition sir See, it is recorded as a forest land in the government in records india, sir india defined as a forest in any province of india is a forest and what do you how do you classify forest legally how do you classify forest sir legally it is uh, classified as reserve forest mm. uh, pro- protected forest and village forest sir yes. and what is reserve forest sir uh, reserve forest are the areas where uh, uh, which is classified as reserve forest under indian forest act and uh, uh, where uh, sorry sir i'm total fast i told legal told legal classification yes sir so what is reserve forest any forest land declared as reserve forest or any provision of the act it would not be section section 27 of the forest act is provided in the rule of the section we say any land declared as reserve forest under any provision of any act is a reserve forest similarly any area declared or notified as protect protected forest under any provision of any act by act act ho ba forest act ho ba do act ho then is a protected forest then village forest was something in the jokon se provision forest act to jokon se provision village forest hi ho should be declared by the jokon village forest but as to the godavari case the war was first means wherever for land forest is written is a forest deep deep forest may private or government and supreme court supreme court said yes they said that any area where we could be which is exist is also forest may one acre may half acre and may may be the yes for the Thank you, sir. So, what is the biosphere? Sir, so biosphere is a uh, is usually a large area where humans and uh, forest interact with each other and have been living in symbiotic relationship since a very long time, sir. And ecology? Sir, ecology is the study of relationship between uh, any organism and its environment. And ecosystem. ecosystem is an assemblage of plant and animal species interacting with each other as well as along with their abiotic components sir right carbon sequestration sir carbon sequestration means capturing carbon uh, and storing them for long term sir so where where do they store sir uh, uh, usually in plants sir what is the storage this place is for Carbon st- carbon carbon stocks. Sink. Carbon sink. Sink. Carbon 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 sink. within the 8 or 1 km in the soil and that is stored there and after some time it becomes a fossil or dying as so whatever petroleum products you products you find now or petrol or diesel they are all carbon products but because of long compression long storage that becomes fossil oil pani re bolibo that storage itu that becomes a fossil oil Yes, Thank you. Sir. Sir, what is the status of Simulipal Reserve? Simulipal Tiger Project. Sir, Simulipal. Simulipal is a uh, Sim- Biosphere Reserve mm. under UNESCO Man and Biosphere Program, mm. and is also it is also a Tiger Reserve, sir. Yes. How how tall? Sir, it is also wildlife. There are few wildlife sanctuaries are located inside the Simulipal. such as hatgad and kuldiha wildlife sanctuaries sir they are counted sir they are counted kuldiha and hatgad they are they are peripheral civil park they are different center they are not in same civil park civil park itself 2750 square feet in the area of civil park it was initially civil park tiger reserve 1956 then project tiger 1973 then biosphere 1994 Yes, sir. This is the largest reserve forest of Asia. Yeah, Hadgar and the Kuldi have 
Then I went from the Simca, then I went from the Lima Sub Sumerpa. Then the periphery of Sumerpa. Have you seen Sumerpa? Sir, I am yet to visit there, sir. It is proper Nasarpa, not a Nasarpa. It is sanctuary. Yes, sir. How many sanctuaries there in the state? Sir, I am unable to recall at this moment. Nineteen. Nineteen? Nine, one, nine. Thank you, sir. What is the nearest sanctuary to Bhubaneswar? Chandakar Wildlife Sanctuary. But how about the distance to Bhubaneswar and Chandakar? Sir, it's located on, in the, on the periphery of Bhubaneswar, sir. Your Bhubaneswar city is inside Chandakar Sanctuary. The whole thing is Asta Hai Chi. That is, that is, that is, that the road goes inside the sanctuary. Nowhere in the country you find a sanctuary very close to the city. The only know it, sir. What is the peculiar characteristics of Bhubaneswar? Sir, so because why they went first are concerned? Sir, uh, Orissa is known for its uh, rich uh, forest and uh, wildlife uh, resources, sir. Mm -hmm. And uh, recently, Kendrapada district was in news because all the three crocodile species are found in uh, are found. It is the only uh, district in the country where all the three crocodile varieties are found. And uh, it is also it also hosts uh, bird sanctuary, tiger reserve. And uh, and it also hosts. Uh, it is also a place where significant tribal population, they de are dependent on the forest resources, sir. How? All different types of forest found in Odisha. Sir, major types. Sir, there are four major types of forest which are found in Odisha: uh, tropical semi semi evergreen forest, tropical moist deciduous forest, littoral and swamp forest, and tropical dry deciduous forests. Uh -huh. So, literal and swamp forests, uh, under that mangroves also are... Uh, you know, what is this sand dunes? Yes, sir. What are they? Sir, they are moving uh, small uh, hills of sand, sir. Why are these organisms of sand dunes? What are the of sand dunes? Sir, I am aware of the disadvantages, sir. Disadvantages? How can you manage disadvantages? Sir, they uh, submerge uh, houses and uh, livestock and... Sand dunes? Yes, sir, in Rajasthan area specifically. I am thinking of Odisha, very north as Where do you find sand dunes in Odisha? Sir, along the coastal regions. Yes. Sir. Then how they, they have eastern bridges? Sir, uh, they... Sand dunes are urban as why They arrest the English of this sand, Indian silent sand. We find out many casual patterns because of sand dunes. They exist in the air, the velocity or the wind speed, it exists. What is casual condition? What are casual condition famous for? Sir, they, are, uh, they act as uh, shelter belt against, against uh, strong winds such as cyclones. So mangroves? Sir, mangroves are also the salt resistant group of plant species. Uh, which provide uh, uh, breaks against uh, strong winds and storm surges, sir. Do you know what is the density of uh, uh, casual plants which uh, prevents weed? Sorry, sir, I am not aware. If a density of point density of point A you answer. Sorry, sir? Density of point A, A point A density. Density, you know? Yes, sir. Number of plants per unit area. Yes, sir. Okay. If there is full density, what will you say what? Yes, sir. Then point A, point nine, depending upon the average of runs for every year, per acre, per acre. Yes, sir. So if there is a wind wave or casual balance of one kilometer wind, when the wind comes, it reaches 60 percent wind. I mean, 100 kilometer wind speed is 100 kilometer. After it crosses through the wind wave, the wind speed is 40 kilometer. That's why the quetta goes to the plant of casual and is a huge task. Uh, um, and the two things they do, they save the coast, I mean coastal area from the sand inundation. Or they are Bali Paliata because of Rajivina of coastal shape. Thank you, sir. Then as a what are different types of crocodiles in Odisha? Sir, uh, there are three varieties of crocodiles are found in Odisha. First is uh, Gharial crocodile, second is Magha crocodile, third is saltwater crocodile, sir. Yeah, all they all stay in Odisha. Yes, sir. You biotechnology, I think you see biotechnology, how would it help you to solve the first, solve the first problem? Yes, sir. So biotechnology, 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 biot
yes sir so first of all sir the knowledge about medical and pharmaceutical biotechnology would help me provide aid to wildlife wild animals secondly sir the knowledge about plant breeding techniques would help me develop uh, plant varieties which are resistant to uh, harsh environmental climate and uh, to insects pests diseases thirdly sir my knowledge about uh, intellectual property rights would help me identify the traditional knowledge of the tribals which are dependent on forest and to uh, and to create an inventory of that fourthly sir uh, my knowledge about bias statistics would help me in census purposes sir what are you doing at the present what are you doing now sir currently i am uh, i am preparing for various examinations as well as i am uh, te teaching in uh, certain coaching institutions to sustain myself financially okay madam patel okay mohammed uh, like uh, what made you want for this job huh? uh, there, there are other things also you uh, can uh, make a career uh, using biotechnology my policy on yes ma'am Ma'am, um, I have uh, I had lived closer to forest and wildlife during my childhood uh, due to my uh, father's employment profile. So I had all I had always felt a connection towards them. And secondly, ma'am, uh, for forest service is uh, I think is diverse. It allows me to work work among the people and work for environment protection, development of vulnerable communities, and also contribute to national security. I think ma'am in this world where climate change and global warming are a major issue forest uh, protection services like forest services is going to play a major role in the future ma'am What are the other things you can offer Ma'am I can go for uh, higher education in biotechnology such as uh, mtech uh, and phd in biotechnology in research field and I can contribute to vaccine development and uh, development of various medicines also ma'am yeah that is after covid uh, the most of priorities now in the environment like life science yes ma'am so that is another good scope for you so which you would choose uh, among this uh, ma'am i would choose uh, forest services ma'am okay what are the qualities do you have that will make you to go forward in that career first of all ma'am patience and perseverance i have been trying in this uh, I have been trying for a government job since a long time now and uh, and I have uh, been trying towards it I have been growing I have a growth mindset ma'am which uh, I have been identifying my mistakes and learning from them and working towards my goals so uh, the growth mindset is one of the major factors which I can also contribute in forest services also Okay, how, um, how can you uh, convince a group of uh, irritated mob? Maybe in your office or in your locality. Uh, we just want to have to take immediate step to control it. How can you do that? Um, first is to identify the major leaders in the mob and to take them to a side and to uh, ask them in uh, talk to them in person that uh, you will look into the matter and if you pacify the people now, we can talk. Uh, to you and we can uh, find a uh, middle ground which is agreeable to all so uh, i think this is a, a good uh, step to uh, control so the mob what priority do you want to inform the now or you take it in your own hands ma'am uh, i'll inform the law enforcement uh, agencies yeah that is what i want first what you do so important in the ap police by the time you come in people there would have been no chaos in this Thank you, ma'am. Okay, yeah. After this uh, problem uh, in Afghanistan, India is facing uh, a specific problem. What is that? So, first is rise in terrorism. Uh, there are uh, uh, terror groups such as. Uh, I am speaking here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 India, India. Uh, scarcity of scarcity, scarcity of an article. Right. Yes. That is dry food. Right? That Afghanistan is a major source of uh, uh, major supply of uh, dry food to India. And uh, uh, second factor that 
uh, I think the opinion of experts, the influence of the third wave of Corona in India. Sir, uh, experts are of are of unanimous opinion that uh, the third wave is going to come to India, but they divided when and and in what severity it is going to come, sir. No, some uh, uh, some World Health Organization has, decided, has declared that something which has been disputed by your uh, specifically Odishan uh, uh, scientists. Have you got any idea? About Sorry, that? sir, I am not aware. Okay. The World Health Organization has told that there may be less effect, whereas uh, our uh, Mr. Mahapatra, the uh, uh, ex. Director of AIMS, now who is the High Chancellor of some University, okay. and others of other, our health director of Odisha, they have said no, we should not take it in a laxative way. Uh, so there is no proper uh, solid research also for giving such statements, so we should be careful. So that, that, that is okay. Thank you. Uh, uh, so, the uh, only thing uh, uh, I have noticed. We have to be really energetic. Yes, sir. You are full of, uh, you have got the very good bank of knowledge with you. Thank you, sir. But uh, <laughs> you are not uh, displaying it properly. You should come out of that situation. You come out of such, uh, I say that uh, you are, uh, you, you are required to be little smart. Otherwise, everything is all right. Uh, but I have told you earlier that you have provided it properly. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, 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 One thing is that you have become a little bit casual sometimes. More casual than becoming. You should be casual, but a little bit more casual than becoming. So check on that. Uh, like, ma'am, by any like, instances? Uh, sir asked you, is it your, that is a definition or your common sense? So you s all of a sudden you answered that it's a common sense. So you should work on that, what you are going to answer. Okay. Then like over here, we are taking it lightly. But there, that place, they won't take it lightly. Okay, okay ma'am. So then, check on that. Okay, ma'am. What you are speaking, it's a common sense, or you have confirmed about it, otherwise it's all. Okay. okay. Don't do case work over there. Okay, ma'am. The rest is okay. All of this. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Sir, you offered that, sir? Thank you.